Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We've talked quite frequently about installing memory and how simple it is. Uh, so I'm going to prove it, or at least try to. <laughs> I've got my MacBook Pro. This is the one sponsored by uh, BlueSkyFactory.com and uh, the 17-inch MacBook Pro. It's got two gigs in there now. I'm going to take out those two SODIMs and replace them with two two gigabyte chips, essentially upgrading my MacBook Pro to four gigabytes of RAM, which of course OS X can handle elegantly, seamlessly. And of course, if I was running uh, a PC or a Windows laptop, I would likely have to upgrade my Windows experience to 64-bit, and that would, with it, introduce a whole range of new problems. But the Mac should be easier. So we're going to pop out the battery. Now, I've never actually gone through and uh, installed RAM on a MacBook, necessarily, or MacBook Pro. I've done it on an iMac, and it was pretty simple. So now that I've installed, or now that I've um, opened up, if you will, the, uh, um, the uh, battery gate, I take a little screwdriver and unscrew these very tiny, very, very, very tiny screws. Careful not to lose them. Boy, these things are so tiny. If I didn't have this little kit, this little screwdriver, I don't know how I would open this. Because these, these things could easily get lost or eaten by a small pet or any kind of pet. And now I'm just going to keep them, try to keep them in their place. So essentially what I've exposed here is the, the place where the memory is currently seated. Uh, and hopefully you guys are going to be able to... Banana phone. Oh, Banana phone. apparently someone's Banana trying to call phone. me too. Banana phone. They're going to have to Banana wait. Phone. I'm in the middle of something Banana very important, phone. and that would Banana be phone. upgrading my RAM. So essentially now, I'm going to take uh, the first sodium out. By, uh, there's a couple of metal clips that I basically push to the side. This one pops out. This is a uh, gigabyte. This is Samsung manufactured this one. And I'm going to re be replacing each one of them in each case, uh, or each instance, I should say. Same case, duh. <laughs> well, I think you know what I mean. With uh, two gigabyte sodium, 667. Just making sure. Yep, same amount of pins, 200. DDR2. We should be good. Okay. So I'm going to place this over here. I'm going to hold on to these sodiums. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the MacBook Pros in my Intel Mac Mini. Uh, I believe, at least according to the place where I purchased this RAM, um, the the Mac Mini that I have is perfectly capable of, of handling um, this particular uh, this particular RAM that I'm taking out. Uh, I have one gigabyte currently installed in my Mac Mini, and of course, upgrading your RAM in a Mac Mini is a hell of a lot more challenging than upgrading the RAM in uh, in a MacBook Pro. So I'm going to take out the bottom one. This one's going to be, I think, a bit more tricky to to get back in the bottom one. We'll see how, how it goes. There's really only one way to seat the RAM, too, by the way. Um, you know, there, there's a notch here on this end. So as long as you line that up, then you really can't screw it up, <laughs> quite honestly. So now I've got my old, my old ones. Just keep them over here. Not exactly old. I just bought this. Um, you know, less than a month ago, again, for, for Gnome Dex. So then for the bottom one, I start out by having it coming in at an angle and then dropping it in directly. So now um, everything should be lined up. It should be seated firmly, and it is, at least that I can tell. Notch is perfectly aligned. Looks like it's in about as far as it can go. Just to triple check again. Start it out at an angle, press it straight down. Now that's seated. And now I've got the second one. How much is a gig of laptop RAM? Well, it depends on where you buy it, I suppose. Top one should be a bit easier. Again, I don't have to come in at so much of a level or an angle before it levels off and seats itself. Again, it should be each one should be firmly in place in perfect alignment and your hair or someone's is this it's either Ponzi's hair here, or Wicket or Pixie's hair, has fallen in. 
Yeah, that's another thing you got to be careful with. Now, I, I'm not. I did. I did something likely bad. I'm not wearing my anti-static strap, but I was touching metal before I touched anything uh, electronic. So now that's uh, firmly in place. I'm gonna seat this guard back in. Again, just kind of taking it, basically doing everything the way. Put it, putting it back together is you know just as easy as to take it apart just as long as you've got your screws lined up so to speak the real test of course is after I uh, make sure the screws are firmly in place but not too tight because the thing is is if I need to get back in there again I want to be able to get back in there although I don't see myself upgrading the RAM ever again uh, largely because this MacBook can only handle up to four gigabytes of RAM so unless there was some kind of failure with the RAM, which I do not anticipate. This uh, this particular brand was uh, recommended to me, OWC. Making sure there's no debris. And now I'm going to put my glasses back on because I usually take them off when I'm doing th work up close. I just I can't see very well. And put the battery back in snaps back in nice and neat and clean. We're going to turn it over. I'm going to zoom out just a tad. Let's go wide. Just a bit. Yeah, that is. And with any luck, let's keep our fingers crossed. Of course, we shouldn't need to. That's a good sound. <laughs> we'll make sure we've got plenty of power. I'm going to move to the other side of the desk now so that I can operate the machine. Going from 2 gigabytes of RAM to 4 gigabytes on OS X is noticeable. Of course, not as noticeable as going from 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabytes, but still. <laughs> Having more memory is usually always a good thing, especially if the operating system and hardware uh, are able to handle a higher capacity. Coffee is my... It's what keeps my memory going. There we go. And back into OS X. We're going to go up to the, the top corner about this Mac. And we're going to zoom in until you can see it. And there we go. Memory, 4 gigabytes, 667 megahertz, DDR2, SD RAM. And that's about as easy as it gets. Uh, you know, of course, upgrading RAM in um, you know other hardware is going to be different. The nuances of each particular uh, case is going to certainly be different. Uh, I'm going to go in over here and show you what we have in Bank Zero. Dim Zero is a two gigabyte stick, and one is a two gigabyte stick. Status is okay. I say we are, uh, for all intents and purposes, good to go. Uh, I could also run a diagnostic since I have Apple's One Care. I'm not going to go that far because, again, my goal of doing this in the first place was to show you just how easy it is to install or upgrade memory, so long as you have the right RAM. Make sure you match it properly. And again, I, I do recommend never mixing and matching brands ever. Uh, that can cause problems. So this RAM uh, will hopefully at some point when I'm brave enough to crack open the Mac Mini will find a new home in there. Uh, but now uh, I'm going to end the video and tell you if you have any other hardware or software questions whether it be for a Mac or a PC go ahead and ask us. Uh, I'm around pretty much all the time and if I'm not then my friends in the chat room certainly are at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.